welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing another blanket. I had a huge response on my last video that I did with um, the chunky blanket that I created. I'm going to do this blanket and just gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm using the ribbing stitch. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Last video, I had um, lots of comments regarding what type of yarn I was using. I usually use Yarn B, which I find at Hobby Lobby. Today, I will be using um, the Mainstays yard. And I actually found this yarn at, um, I'm baking, sorry. I actually found this yarn at Walmart. So um, you can find this at Walmart and I'm gonna go get the cookies out of the oven. I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my chain. So I'm going to do a slip knot. And the way you do a slip knot is you just cross this over twist get the working string this is your working string right here grab your working string and then pull that through then you have your slip knot so I'm gonna place this down here um, again it's up to you how big you want your how big you want your your chain to be or how big you want your loops to be um, I like mine just a little bit bigger because I like to make my blankets just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to leave mine about this size right here. I'm going to set this down and we want to move our yarn to wherever we are going to move. So I'm going to move in this direction on the right hand side. I'm going to make a loop out of this. And I have now created a chain. So I have two right here. Okay, so now that I am done creating my chain, I ended off just right here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna pull this back just a little so you can see. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to loop through. Now there was a lot of confusion in the last video on how to get back over here. So if you take a look at the way that the loop is going right here, I'm gonna move this loop this way because now I am going to block it off so that it can continue this way. Remember to move your yarn over because this is the direction that we are going now. And since I already have my loop coming in through here, you're gonna take a look at, and I'm gonna zoom in here in just a little bit, but you're gonna take a look at all of these, these stitches right here, all these bottom stitches. So this one, this one, this one, all of these bottom stitches. Those are the stitches that we will be going through. this loop it's gonna go off to a side just ignore it I'm gonna to go to my next go under and loop through Okay, so once I've, re once I've reached the end, I am going to move my yarn back over here because I'm gonna come back into this direction, my right, right hand side. Now I am going to create the ribbing. So this is going to be um, the really pretty stitch. I am going to go under just as I normally would. So I'm going to go under the loop and pull through the loop just like that. Now here's the different part. The next loop, I'm going to go over the loop and pull through over the loop. And it's just going to alternate. So the next loop, I will go under the loop. The next loop, I will go over the loop. Under the loop. 
and then over the loop. So I will continue doing that. I'll go under, over, under, over. Once you are right back where you started, remember your yarn goes on the opposite side, so we're now coming in this direction. I'm going to pull my loop, kind of tug at it so that it's coming down. Now I'm going to go into this loop because I'm creating another row. And I'm going to do it just like I did my first row. So I'm going to pull through and I'm just going under. I am not weaving through. So I'm just going under, under, just like my first row. Under and pull out, under and pull out, under and pull out, under and pull out. Same exact thing that I did on my first row. All right, so now that I'm back over here, back on the other end, once again, taking my yarn, I'm putting it on this side. We're now moving this direction. And just as we did with our second row, we're gonna do once again. So I'm going to go under the loop first and pull through, and then over the loop and pull through under the loop, pull through, over the loop, pull through. So it looks like this. Under the loop, pull through, over the loop, pull through. Under the loop, pull through, over the loop, pull through. Once again, um, with these, you can, you can create the loop as big as you want it to. You can even measure it out. Um, pull at it, tug at it to make sure that it's symmetric. Every once in a while, you want to just kind of head it down so that you can see what you're working with. Right back. So now I'm gonna pull my yarn back. Very repetitious. You're just going back and forth, back and forth. So now that I did my ribbing stitch, my up and down, up and down, I'm just gonna pull through under. So pull through under, pull through under, pull through under. Same exact thing, pull through under. You will get to a point where you run out of yarn. So I've already threaded my needle and I am going to mesh the blue with the gray yarn and just hand sew. Okay, so when you are completely done, you want to get all of these loops right in through here. Let me move this back just a little bit so you can um, take a look at what I'm doing. You're going to move this working string and make this loop just a little bit bigger than all the other loops. Then you are going to cross it over. So you're going to grab the loop and intertwine the loops together, just like that. Get the other loop, pull it under, intertwine that loop. Get the other loop, pull it under, intertwine that loop. Once you are completely done with the knitting portion of the blanket, you are going to um, hand sew or hand stitch all four sides. So I just turned the flap over just like this and I hand stitch to the edging. I usually like to stitch 
these little handmade or made with love, which I also posted in my last video. And um, I find these at Hobby Lobby, but you can find them in the jewelry department or you can also um, look for them in the fabric department. And I just stitch that right on. It's a cute little effect. An embellishment to your blanket. I like to use a double stitch, so I just lock it over so it's secure. So I'm now on the other corner. This was the part that I cut off, and I'm just going to attach it. So if I wrap it around right here, it looks like, you can see it, it'll look like it's part of the chain right in through here. So I'm just going to hand stitch this side as well. 